we'll mine it along the reef where the ore is. When we hit the end of that section, we clean everything out and then we have to backfill it. The mining face is continuing to advance. We're continuing to develop. We're always getting farther and farther from that permanent installation of the, of the sand plant where that hub is that we're, we're pumping sand from. So the pump has to be able to accommodate not just the pressure, but the volume to deliver that sand a retreating distance away. If you want to pump something, talk to the world leaders in it, and that's Giho. It pumps about 275 gallons a minute at 70% solids by weight. So when you put that in your hand, you'll have the water run off very quickly and you'll have a pile of sand. Having a settling slurry that is pumpable, that will get a better fill factor. Weir Minerals Ski Hall has been uh, pumping uh, slurries for decades. I worked extensively with the Sabanye Stillwater Mine Engineering Group so we could select a slurry pump that was just right for them. The first Ski Hall pump we purchased was a ZPM 700. That was for our 5000 West sand plant. The second pump we bought was a ZPM 800. Every Giho pump is built for what the need of that particular application is. It's not just an off-the-shelf pump. We were introduced to Centertrex um, during our, when we purchased our last Giho pump. The power that that leverages as far as using machine learning to allow cloud-based storage of information to help us troubleshoot things, it will make the Stillwater Mine a more efficient and profitable operation as well. It's a pump that is capable of higher pressure. It's a pump that is capable of higher reliability. And it is a pump that has shown to be the lowest cost of ownership to the customer. We have years and years of reserves based on our current operating techniques. So it's not just what we're building for now, but we're building out into the future. When the Gihou pumps turn on, the future of this place is bright. 